When men are married to women who scream like this, they just want to die sooner. All right, today's topic, Tommy Lauren. Something as of recently has been on my mind and I consider myself a teacher, a helper, um, someone who could possibly inspire people to be better. So with that being said, this is a PSA for all the men out there and all the boys who think they're men, but they're actually boys. This is gonna be the summer of canceling boys. Cancel culture, you sick of it yet? Yeah, me too. So it's time to cancel cancel culture and you know I've got some final thoughts. This is gonna be the summer of canceling boys. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> I just the attitude she said it. Almost every single one of them have an issue with men. And you have to start looking at that and thinking, if an age range of that many people, including myself, living really all over the country, and being blonde, brunette, short hair, long hair, I mean, tan, super white, super pa I mean. For a second, I got excited. I thought she was gonna say super black. I was like, damn, you got some black friends too? No, she, she went, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> super white, super. <laughs> It is not just the guys in Los Angeles, Nashville, Dallas, and it's not, they're not any better in the Midwest. They, quite frankly, I think they're trash all over this country. A lot of men are trash. A lot of men don't know how to treat women. <laughs> they're trash all over this country. Also, you're also just taking in the people who are having negative experiences. I'm sure you know people who are happily married and who are doing fine and they're good in their relationship. I'm personally single. Preaches in a relationship and he has been happy for a long time. Just because I may have a struggle or two here and there, I wouldn't be like, man, no man can find love with a woman because all these women like fake nails and f like what? That has nothing to do with this conversation. I look to my right and I find someone who's in a loving relationship and is happy. Again, this is just a defeatist mentality because it absolves you of any responsibility and it just makes everyone else to blame for your sense of unhappiness. And I'm not a feminist, so please don't take this as a this rant. I love men. I think men are great. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're done. She in the same 15 minutes said, I think men are good. I think men are great. Men are trash. You know what that sweater that I like, that I love? I put it in the trash. I didn't fold it. I didn't put it. I put it in the trash. But that, that sweater? That, that sweater is great. It's good. It's hot <laughs> and everything. Like I need it every time I go outside. But it's trash. Yeah. Girl, no, no, no men are trash when we're saying stuff like that also be mindful of what kind of messaging that's sending to younger people to everyone else who's watching who are internalizing this message who are coming into the dating world with all this negative stimuli and they're being like okay men are garbage if you're trying to build a relationship with somebody it's probably not a good idea to go in there with the idea you're, trash. you're garbage prove me wrong <laughs> jump in the recycling bin so i am going to help you the first thing and i've made notes by the way, I've made notes. This is how invested I am in this. All right, next thing, value, value. Value, value, take that in. Just repeat it to yourself until it makes sense. I value, value. <laughs> I think what's thought. I ponder the pond as I swim across the lake. I lay in lakes. <laughs> I kicked the kick. <laughs> poetry, poetry, flowetry, flowetry. I'm swimming through oceans like an ocean inside of me. <laughs> Slam poetry. Oh, man. Tommy Lauren. The value. Yes, yeah, she's whoring. She thinks she makes sense. It feels like I'm watching the sixth sense. I see dead people. I see trash people. I value. I see men. Value. Men are trash. Trash thrown out into the garbage bin. Bin is a sin to be a man in this world who's trash. I lash out, out, out. At what? That? Clout, clout, clout. <laughs> value village, my nigga. <laughs> value village. Oh, wow. What? What do you? Oh, value, value. Maybe, maybe she's gonna explain it. Just put it on. Put it on. We just. You don't know what value, value means? Value, value. No, I didn't. <laughs> Did you just okay. ask me if I knew what value, value is? Yeah, you got. You got a value, value. 
It sounds like just broken Brazilian English accent. Value, value. Going to make efforts to value, value. Vai, 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 vai. Just vai. Okay. What she means by value, value is like if something is valuable, value it. And, and so she's trying to say, this is what I'm guessing. She's trying to say, I'm valuable, know my value. Which is, I think, very arrogant. But hey, listen, maybe she's got amazing self-esteem. Maybe, maybe just, just put it on. We'll oh, see what oh. she means. Don't try to guess. Just... If you want to date a girl that has nothing going on, then that's fine. But please do not mix in people like me and my friends who have something going on with your other girls that have nothing going on. And by nothing going on, I mean this. I don't, there is no job that is unimportant. There is no job that's not valuable. Yo, listen, if you work at a nine to five, that's cool. But I ain't a broke bitch, okay? So don't treat me like a girl who works that's at a That's what she said. She said value, value. <laughs> <laughs> also keep in mind you never know how youtube deranks us and stuff like that so if you like us you support what we do you enjoy the every other day content that we post for you guys for free for your enjoyment leave a like leave a comment check out the discord join that's right support we're not asking you for the money we're asking you to put some clicks like yo Smash that like button. How many people are still not uh, uh, watching the video? It's always like 50%. 50%. Not, 50% of you are not subscribed to this? Yeah. 50% are just window shoppers. If you want to mix in people like me and people like my friends who are go-getters, who work really hard, who make their own money, who are talented, skilled, ambitious, please don't mix us in with the Tatianas. This is, this is one of the fundamental mistakes that a lot of women make. There are quite a lot of dudes out there who do not give a how ambitious you are. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm not saying there aren't some men who are into it. A lot of us don't care. Some of us just want to be shacked up with someone who's going to be cool, who we can count on, who we can confide in, and who's going to have her back. For some people, that's mostly enough. All right, all your ambition, all that other stuff is never going to be more important than those qualities. All right, I need to just know you're going to have my back, that if I'm vulnerable around you, you're not going to throw it in my face, that I can trust you with my secrets, that, listen, when I hold it down financially, doing all this other stuff, that you're going to be there for me when I need it emotionally and all this other stuff. So all you're talking about, we don't value, but you're mad because our value system isn't aligned with yours. Value, value. We said it, ladies. If you want to go out and make 60, 150, 150 thousand, go ahead. Do it. But it doesn't mean that us men have to value that in you. No, but Who are you to impose that on us? The same way we shouldn't tell you, ladies, what you should value in men. It'd be like if I got up here right now and I was like, I can't believe that these women don't value the fact that I have every episode of Great Teacher Onizuka and I'm on Manga Kakalot every day. <laughs> Boo -boo -boo. I have cataloged every episode of Dragon Ball Z from when Goku was a youngin' until when he had his three kids. No, nobody cares. You don't value value all my animation? Like, that's that's how it sounds to us when you're talking well, about Well, you're this. trash then if you don't value that. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's, it's not good logic. We don't want to be there. If that's what you want, find them. Please, for the love of God, do not mix us in with them because we don't want to be there. And quite frankly, we take it as an insult if we find out that you are also talking to five Tatianas who have nothing going on. People like me and my friends are going to be insulted by that. You know what this rant sounds like? <clears throat> you remember that shooter that went by the California school, the forever alone, the ultimate supreme gentleman? He, he, he did this video, the Supreme Gentleman guy. He did this video before he shot up all the women at the school. You'll finally see that I am, in truth, the superior one. Dress nice. I have a nice car, a BMW. These, these sunglasses here were $300. Giorgio Armani. I don't know why you girls are so repulsed by me. Same position, but it's the same train of thoughts. It's the same true. It, it's true, the same entitlement. It's the same true true value. Yes. Uh, that's going. Bro, do you know what an incel is? It's an involuntary celibate. Yeah. Isn't that what she's describing right now? It's exactly what. She's an saying. involuntary single person. Don't go. Don't go to me. Go to them. But if I'm single, it's because y'all are trash. There's a lot of women out there that I know that are my good friends who have amazing jobs, who work really hard, but who can't seem to find a decent guy, even if they go up in age five to ten. 
to 15 years because those guys all want to be with 21 year olds who have nothing going on. I don't think she recognized how her slightly jealous, slightly arrogant, slightly bourgeois uh, attitude doesn't come off as toxic. I, I'm surprised she doesn't recognize that. When I hear this girl, she's not making herself more endearing as I hear her speak. No. The more she talks, the more I'm like, ugh. You know, there's a famous line. Well, I can't see, remember who says it. It's like Mark. But he's like, when men are married to women who scream like this, they just want to die sooner. Right? Mm -hmm. That's why men live less long lives. And talking out about other women. Yeah. Th those Tatianas, those those low class poor, like we got ambitions and we're rich and you go for a girl who doesn't have anything. You don't value money and success. What? Do you not hear yourself? She does. Ugh. She does, but she likes it. Ugh. Ugh. You you talk. You're talking she down about it. other women. But but men are trash. But men are trash. But here you are disparaging women who are less fortunate than you are. But men are okay. trash. Okay. But men are trash. Okay. Those women are out there are gonna be a lot more fulfilling to you. You're actually gonna enjoy your time. And if you actually might want a sustainable and healthy and stable relationship, that's probably the kind of girl you're gonna need to find. How are you gonna tell people what they need to find to be in a stable relationship when you are single and you don't know how to get out of your predicament? Hold on, is she single though? But the way she's talking, she is. Well, she must be. Cause she's talking like she's single. I heard she had a fiance, guess that shit didn't work out. So Maybe now she's out here talking. Guarantee you she's, do she, she's out, she's done. Tommy Lauren calls off engagement to fiance Brandon Fickle, April 29th, 2020. <laughs> 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 Nigga, I'm a wizard, B. Yeah, Let's get yeah. this shit. Yeah, Let's yeah. get, yo, April, what? You're, you're a wizard, Harry. Nigga. You're a wizard. Well, yo, newly <laughs> single, this is like bitter bitch energy. And she not even a ghost yet. <laughs> <laughs> you know, tell him. <laughs> Tell them about the ghost of the bitter bitch. The ghost, the ghost of the bitter bitch is the ghost that goes around like this around. And that's not my bit. That's D. Ray Davis' bit. Uh -huh. He has a bit called the bitter bitch. Okay. And when, it's a good bit. And he's talking about it's a ghost that's around girls sometimes. And boys, that it just makes you bitter and jealous. And uh -huh. that's what it is. How does it show and up? And then like? let's, say, let's, say, let's say you have a girl and you're like, you go, okay, baby. I'm it's a, me. It's me. I'm the girl. Uh, okay. I, I'm about, I'm, I'm going to go out. I'm going to run some errands. All right. And you leave. And then the ghost of the bitter bitch come. Where the is he going? Didn't tell you where he was going. I bet he's with that bitch. Why didn't he say anything? <laughs> You're really good at that. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta, you are a manifestation. You know how to channel that shit. Nigga, you talk to spirits? I talk to spirits. You're a wizard? Yeah. I talk to spirits. <laughs> Okay there, Gypsy, let's go. <laughs> Nigga, like a living Ouija board over here. That's right. <laughs> um, the second thing. There is not a woman out there that wants to be your pen pal. She doesn't want to get your texts, your good morning texts, your good night texts, your random through the day texts, if they don't follow up with a plan to actually, here's the kicker, in person, hang out. Is it possible that he was just talking to you? and didn't make any moves because he just wasn't that into you. Generally, when men are into someone, they're pushy. In fact, that's something that women complain about all the time. He moved too fast. He was trying too hard. A pen pal. But that also leads me to my second point. This is gonna be backwards for you guys. Make plans. Make a plan. So if you didn't make a plan earlier in the day, or better yet, a day or two or three in advance, I'm not interested. I don't want to hang out anymore because that ship has sailed. Make a plan. I want to hang out with you at this time. It doesn't have to even be a date. I want to see you at this time. Are you free at this time? Or when are you free? I will accommodate my schedule to see you. Listen, I'll be honest with you. Homegirl, I promise you, I'll be honest with you. If these guys are not doing these stuff, it's because they're not that into you. Like, listen, if I'm gearing towards a relationship and I'm seriously trying to date people, I'm hitting them up early. I'm saying, hey, when are you available? Let's make plans. And I can guarantee you, most men are. If a man is into a girl, he wouldn't be like, hey, you available right now? And the girl's like, nah. And then he's like, all right, well, when are you available? That's what he's always going to ask afterwards almost all the time. Or if the girl tells him, hey, but I'm free Tuesday, the guy will be like, oh, let's try to find a date. But if you think men are just going to be like, hey, girl, you free? And the girl's like, nah. He's like, all right, deuces. He's not into you. You're, you're a side piece.
It's very unfortunate. I don't think it's gonna be fulfilling, but I would say to the men out there, Try to maybe find a woman that you can talk to, communicate with, might actually have her shit together, actually be ambitious. Why do people have to be ambitious? That's like such an American point of view that thinks that everyone in the world has to be ambitious. Some people just want to leave a peaceful life. Some people want to be able to provide for their family and just be okay with that. Not everyone has to have these lofty ambitions of wanting to do lavish things and all that stuff. Uh, when I when I left this North American bubble, it made me realize like just living in Africa, living in different parts of Europe, that people don't always live like that. People don't always want to do all these crazy things. Even That's here. just your arrogant even, perspective even thinking here. everyone has to think like you. If I, if I can have a good conversation with someone, yeah. that's, that's that. We could talk about different... And it's not just with ambition people, ambitious people that you could have a bunch of, a multitude of, 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 of conversation. conversation. It's with a lot of different people. You don't have to have a PhD, like she said. You don't have to be a TV producer. You just have to be, that's me. If you're pleasant, that is half the battle. If you have something to say, you're chill. This is like you're ambitious, but you're nagging. Have God you, damn. Have you talked to retirees and old people? They have someone, so much knowledge to offer you. Yeah. And it's interesting to talk to them. Yeah. They're not say. super ambitious. No. Do I have but, to be but, like, hey, nigga, where are you trying to go in life? A60, <laughs> come on, B. This just sounds dumb. The next thing on my list is this, consistency. It really does not help me or my friends or any woman in general if you are really cool and you're really interested when you first start talking to them and then give it three, four, five days and all of a sudden you're not consistent anymore. You don't make plans. You don't really care. You kind of fade in and out. You're talking to five other Tatianas. Consistency is important. Because he's not interested in you. That's it. That's it. That's you just all. Find out that, you Take know. your cues. Sometimes silence is louder than talking. Maybe, maybe, maybe you're consistent. Yeah. And nagging. And it just dimmed his light. He's just dead. You sucked it all out. <laughs> It's like it's like it's like if your father ran out on you, you wouldn't be like, man, where is he? Why isn't he showing interest? Nigga's not interested. <laughs> he, he, he bounced. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sorry to tell you guys. There's a whole bunch of viewers like, thanks, Dad. For my I'm sorry, but like sometimes their absence is very telling as well. Was the dad example too far? I I ain't mad at it. Okay. You know why? Why? Because your dad was present. No, because it was true. True. <laughs> <laughs> I guess he's Hey listen that response I, I value value <laughs> Any grown woman that refers to real women as Tatiana's already is just starting off on a bad foot. It's like women who you mean person and they're like L O L immediately. That is one of the biggest turnoffs I have ever seen. L M A O are you for real? Are you uh, listen, that was exactly the enlightenment that I thought it would bring. Uh, nada. Don't give away control of your situation to the world around you. It, 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 there's, you gain nothing by sitting there and being like, everyone else is the problem. I'm here. Well, then you're still where you were before, and now you complained, so you've pushed people further away. It's never going to work out well for you. So focus on the things that you can control and try to improve on that. All right. If you've got some trauma that makes you unable to connect with other people, then go see a shrink. If you are somebody who's distrusting of people, find a way to work through that before you jump into something. But there's no sense in looking at the world like everything is evil. I can't give you guys advice on how to date and this and that. It was because I'm not. It's, it's not my reality, right? So I'm not gonna sit out there and be like, you know what you guys should do? You should do. It's not my reality. I don't know. I don't know what the works of it. I've been out of the game for a long ass time, so I don't know. I don't know. But. I know that one thing I know, like you said, being bitter is not one of them. And that's not even for dating. That's for anything. Looking for a job. Uh, exceeding in your, in your job. Trying to find um, more accomplishment. Trying to uh, grow, go through the ladders of life. Being bitter is never a solution. I checked out a long ass time ago from that video. We're done. Cool. All right, well, if you guys value value, leave a comment in the comments below. We want to hear from you. Put a comment in the comments? Yes, that's right. Comment to comment. Comment to comment. <laughs>
question for men. If you like a girl, if you're even somewhat interested in a girl, you need to ask yourself this question. Are you single? No, I don't mean are you kind of single, seeing five people, dating somebody, still kind of in a relationship, kind of broken up, kind of on again, off again, kind of married, kind of divorced. Are you actually single, single? That means single. You have nobody. You have no complications. You have no attachments. You are actually single. That is the first question, believe it or not, that needs to be asked. And ladies, you should be asking it because in 2020, it's not a given anymore that a guy that's actively pursuing you is actually single. <laughs> so that's the first thing. Um so you're going to act like women don't do that? <laughs> okay. Yeah, men are trash because of this. Yeah. Therefore, women are trash because of this as too as well. <laughs> It's kind of like okay, so yeah, but women don't do it as much. No, no, do, women do it as much, and you know what? I'm glad because you know that's equality. You have to understand as well that well, go ahead. When you have a good uh, experience, you're gonna talk about it about uh, two to three times. When you have a bad example, a bad experience, you're gonna be talking about it ten times to fifteen times, right? We, the way the, 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 the brain, the, the, the human brain works is we latch on to negative things that happen. Example, I was doing a show and it was a, uh, an arena, it was a theater that had 1,200 people, right? 1,200 motherfuckers. There was one person front row, arm cross, arms cross, me mugging, not laughing at a single joke. Everybody else was laughing. But I was like, man, what the hell is this? What the hell is this guy not like? What the hell is his problem? Who cares? You have 1,199 people laughing, and I'm fixated on this dude. And we all, we, we do that a lot. We're going to be like, what the? And we just going to forget all these people laughing and having a good time. So a lot of times, sometimes, whenever people bad experiences we remember the bad experiences more than we remember the good ones and also the fact that whenever something happens to you something bad happens to you and when you tell that story you depict yourself as the hero so you think it's all them not you 